Hi, Jay Silver with Helicon, and in this video, we're going to talk about ways to protect your new pool. This is a pre-construction uh, pool site that we're on today. Please like and subscribe if you're wanting to learn about how to protect home foundations, pools, if you have problem soils and are looking for options or innovative solutions, you may find it on our channel. Today, just hoping to educate you on different pool foundation systems. A lot of pools in Florida do not get any uh, foundation system. A lot do, like, um, like this one, we're installing helical piles into the pool. Hopefully, what this video can, can help educate those on, on the, yes, some upfront cost to doing a pool foundation system, but the long-term benefit in maintenance and possible, I wanna to touch on this, very important you'll hear in the video, is repairs. If you have a problem with your pool once it's in place and it does not have a pool foundation system, and that could be one of uh, one common with all of the storms um, that we've recently had with the recent hurricane, the, the storm rains. We've had a few customers call in with pools that have heaved from the hydrostatic uh, pressure of all the water or a storm event popping the pool out. There's no really repair for that. It's you have to rip the pool out and repair. If you're a homeowner wondering, well, what you know, what if I don't do uh, a helical pile system, or uh, the other alternative is a timber pile? And we'll talk about the the benefits and the advantages of each. It could be high costly repairs, um, downtime, which is sometimes more important to people than money. You may be out of your pool for six months, and who wants that? We're out here today in Clearwater. We got a beautiful view. I think the Sand Key Bridge off on our, our distance here. We're out on a, a brand new pool construction build. And this is on, as you see, a uh, intercoastal, a uh, tidal storm surge environment. We find if your pool is being constructed in a storm surge area where a hurricane could come in and that large water hydrostatic pressure, it's critical, if not almost mandatory, that you, you get some sort of pool foundation system put into place and that was what was elected um, out on this site we'll just start over here uh, to start here's a, a helical pile that was torqued in the ground we've got about 59 of these around the site and they're going down to about 30 feet um, down in depth and they're in a grid pattern designed by the engineer and the pool uh, builder this pool is actually being designed and built by Ryan Hughes Design, award-winning pool builder. They do beautiful award-winning work, and this is gonna be just a showstopper with this view. Millions and millions of dollars in this pool, so you can imagine they want to make sure this pool is on solid ground because you don't want one of these hurricanes coming through and popping a, uh, a seven-figure pool and having to come in here. It could be six, six months, who knows, to repair this thing. So we'll swing around, you know, as I, as I approach the rig, some reasons you may be wondering why did it go with timber versus helical piles. Helical piles we feel are a far superior method. Yes, there is some slightly greater upfront cost to the, um, the material over wood, but the long-term maintenance and uh, potential if there's any problem with the timber pile, the repair cost, I think the upfront cost outweighs the long-term benefit and the peace of mind. Galvanized steel, it's just gonna be more durable. It's not susceptible to, to rot, to insects. The speed of installation and the, the accuracy and the precision on the load bearing capacity. And not to get too technical on you, um, but as they make it over to the next point, we'll show you some of those, those indicators. But also you can see this is a very small footprint. What I mean by that is if we were doing timber piles, we'd have to have a large crane in here driving timbers down in the ground. And you know, a problem with, uh, in a lot of cases, the vibrations and the potential liability. Look here, we have a, a, a house next to us on the neighboring structure. And you can imagine you're pounding these timber piles in, you can cause some major damage uh, to the house next door that could be very, very costly um, to repair. Not to mention steel is more environmentally friendly. We're not cutting down trees. It's uh, recycled steel and sourced. The guys are getting set up here on, uh, on another uh, point. There's 59 of these out through all the site. 
you see uh, just some flags, the flags that we'll be going up to and installing those. And again, they're, they're going down to about 30 to 35 feet. And the operator will show you what I mean by the precision of helicals over timber is by the torque that's, uh, we have a teletorque system that's on the head transmitting over to his iPhone, which we'll show you. And the operator, he's looking for a sustained torque of right around 69 uh, foot pounds of pressure. And what does that mean and why is that so accurate and precise versus a timber? That torque correlates exactly into the load bearing capacity of each of these pilings, which is about 30 kips or 30,000 pounds of both downforce and upforce. So it's not only supporting the pool and the weight from settling, uh, but it's also supporting it from any uh, hydrostatic or storm surge pop because it's anchoring um, the pool down into the ground with these helixes. And uh, they're starting out with a, on the bottom, he's gonna start torquing it in here. You got an eight inch helix down at the bottom, followed up on the top flight by a 10 inch. And in this case, it, we just went with the two flight configuration. Helicals are also very versatile um, in more soil types and conditions than a timber pile. These work in, in looser uh, soils. We can do a, different things up at the surface for lateral load capacity if we need. Something called a pull down pile, uh, where we'll pull down concrete to increase the diameter up at the top which therefore increases the lateral load uh, capacity of the piling. But in a pool uh, application as of this, we, we don't need lateral load capacity. So they're gonna install these and we'll kind of come around here to, uh, you know, as he's starting to insert it, he's got on his torque meter. So again, it's very precise. So we know exactly once this is installed, whereas a timber pile, it, you can immediately load this pile, which is a, a big benefit over a timber pile. You can put the load on it, it's not gonna budge, it's gonna support 30 kips. With a timber pile, you're pounding it into the ground, so it's compressing those soils beneath it, and you need to give that timber pile some time to almost settle, and maybe apply some more pressure to it before you add the load onto the timber pile. So it's not as precise and as accurate, as also as fast. You can see we just zip this four foot starter section in. Give you an idea, there's about 59 helicals out of this site. And our operator Felix will have all of these installed within about three days. So averaging about 10 of these per day. And that depends on conditions, depths, uh, multitude of different factors. So the guys will proceed on installing all 59 of the helicals down to 30, 35 feet. So if you're a if you're a homeowner, a builder, uh, a pool builder, or an engineer that's looking to explore pool foundation options, we're happy to collaborate and explore the best options for you. We think helical piles are far superior due to their longevity of steel, the durability over timber. Uh, it's just less susceptible to moisture, insect, rot, the speed of insulation, the liability of possibly damaging a neighboring structure with timber, a lot of different benefits that uh, far outweigh some of the upfront costs. More of the, the long-term benefits outweigh that. So please give us a, a ring or a call. We're happy to collaborate and see which options are best for you.